and you'll get punished for it right. or anything like that. I mean, I definitely think that Smash is a game where you cannot just make one character solo. Like, they're, they're definitely characters that, like, definitely need a secondary or, like, a coming in order to, like, truly thrive and flourish in the scene. But looks like we did not get the right tags for Mondo, so they're just going to reset it, probably re-roll that music. Yeah, I, I don't I don't see Void sitting up there, but, you know, maybe the tags say otherwise. Dude, if I'm hip had to play Void round two or round three of winners, that that's a sad, sad day for the scene. Because that means that that tournament is so stacked. Sad for the... <laughs> That, that Sad for them, but if I'm the player who gets to play someone else, you know, who's maybe seated a little lower, I'm happy. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, imagine if, like, Void versus I'm Hip was, like, a real, like, round two, round three winners match. Like, how stacked would that tournament possibly be? We are pretty stacked tonight. I think I saw Razo and, uh, yeah, obviously Void and I'm Hip. A lot of the PR is here. Uh, I believe close. we have, like, a good chunk of, like, the upper half of the PR, you know? Yeah, I, I guess the, the post Evo M, uh, MSM here. Right. And you know, uh, yeah, so we're seeing a Dark Samus. Uh, not a lot of, this character hasn't seen a lot of um, representation, I think. So I'm excited to see. It's got a lot of really cool movements and um, and uh, that aerial charge shot now that he has. Right. <laughs> I definitely think Samus is uh, very much like a discount duck hunt in the sense that like all their best stuff is from setting up traps basically you know it's setting up the the missile to force you to jump and then he intercepts that with an anti-air fare you know but all samus's like best things are done preemptively like i'm gonna bet you're gonna jump here i'm gonna bet you're gonna stay in shield and then she kind of makes that bet with whatever auction she chooses to go with right i think that's all always kind of how the character's been played but we've managed to see some players take advantage of that and wow i'm surprised i'm hip did not punish that uh bad up be there um you know, with hugs in, in melee, a game that is, is is faster and more developed, so the punish games are insane. But he's managed to make it work. I think it just takes a player who's willing to research their opponents and understand their play styles. It's a very, very hard character to play at a high level. Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of Samus's tools and tricks, you know, they kind of rely on you not knowing what Samus herself can do. Right. So as long as you stay back, kind of wait for her to throw out an option and then punish it. Like, you see, he could have thrown out an option there, but he wasn't sure, like, okay, can Samus really do anything off of this platform when she lands? Let me wait for a double jump. Oh, he double jumped. Let me get that up there instead. Right. And we saw, yeah, so uh, Mando there, he called out that jump with the fair uh, from I'm Hip. And, uh, you know, it was a hard read, but he didn't really didn't get a lot for it, yeah. unfortunately. Uh, another thing uh, that kind of frustrated me, I used to play Samus a little bit in Smash 4, but they took out, uh, uh, or they changed the trajectory of the dash attack, of mm -hmm. how it sends you. You used to be able to get combos and sort of uh, dash attack, catch your uh, opponents off guard. Because dash attack, fast. rage up B. Yeah, rage up B, oh, and yeah. up air, and up air, and up B, and all yeah. kinds of crazy combos, or even dash attack into fair and put your opponents off stage. Um, but now Samus has lost that tool. I mean, Zamas is, you know, she's a very much like a zoner character. She zones with Zare, she zones with the, the side B. But I feel like there are other characters that just do her job the better, you know? There's, there's Snake, who has, like, stronger normals, and then there's Duck Hunt, who has stronger, like, trapping games, you know? So Samus is kind of like that awkward, like, mix in between where, like, she has a couple of zone breaking tools in the form of that dash attack, but, like, yet again, you, don't, you get nothing off of it. So, you know, it's hard to say that, like, Samus has, like, any good. Like, she has okay tools, but nothing, like, truly amazing that would, like, set her apart from, like, any of the other zoners. Right. Uh, and in this game, they also change how the Zare hitbox works, so you can't really space your opponents out with it. Uh, another kind of frustration. Uh, it would be a great tool in this game because it was good at poking uh, in the previous game, but it, it doesn't really do that anymore, um, at least not as effectively. You can't sort of just put the p hitbox on, on top of your opponent. It... it, it it bounces off of them. It's a very strange property. I mean, yet again, I feel like I'm hip going to the Joker yet again. You see, I'm hip do this a lot. He'll he'll secure game one with his main, and then he'll kind of warm up his secondaries in some case for for game two and onwards. All right, but we're seeing a Ganon come out. Um, Ooh. 
this, this is going to be a rough time for Ganon because like Ganon's just like, I'm slow in the air. Let me let me try yeah. to recover back to stage, and Joker's just like, ha, let me back air you for that. You don't need a lot with this character to to do well, though. I mean, one read and you, you could deal you know upwards of 60 damage to your opponent. Uh, so we'll see. Maybe Mondo has been building up that data, and he's just about to destroy I'm Hip here. But uh, but ooh, getting the gun to the fair off stage, and like I said earlier, like Ganondorf's off stage. What does he do? He does nothing because he just can't. Yeah, very limited options. Um, okay, interesting. I think he could have gotten a down throw into a uh, nair there. <laughs> Oddly enough, it's easier to land a down throw to Nair uh, with Ganon than Falcon. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. He again catches the up air right there. Okay, oh, and the ground hitbox. Yeah, yes, but. I've been hit by that many times. You think you're going to get that? Ooh. Oh, but, you know, unfortunate air dodge. You know, okay. he panicked right there. Yeah, if he had air dodged towards the ledge, he would have been fine, but he just air dodged, direct, air dodged directly up. Okay. And again, no, you know, <laughs> again, it's, F smash. Yeah, you know, again, it's like really struggling. They're just throwing out F smash and neutral, like from halfway across the screen, hoping you run into it. Yeah, it's kind of a desperation move, a very strong move, but it, you know, also kind of shows that <laughs> you you show your hand there if you're throwing it out like that. Ooh, I like the nair though. You know, it was a good option, Ooh, but you know what? Back, not yeah. Not quite enough. I don't think there was really anything he could have done there at that point. All right. I mean, maybe a, a bead like a little bit sooner, but yet again, like this is a little bit too little too late at that point. Right. And, and yet again, you know, like Joker just 